As I've gone around the country, one thing that struck me is how the over 50s are an untapped resource. In school after school, I've seen people coming in on an ad hoc basis, former engineers showing kids how to do cogs and various things. I've seen people who used to be in the water, in water industry doing hydraulics. I've seen people with all sorts of skills, carpentry, actually working with children and showing them skills that most teachers don't have. And there are generations of people who have got fantastic skills, who've been largely retired by this society and are expected to sort of go on down the Derby and Joan Road and not make a contribution. And they start to be seen as a burden. People refer to them as drawing pensioner benefits. Well, actually, why aren't we bringing those people into schools, energising kids, showing them skills? Kids love hands-on, exploratory, creative things. And we've got millions of people in the society who love sitting with kids, seeing the eyes switch on as they discover a new skill. And that, to me, schools should be actually mobilising nationwide to bring these people in and actually getting the best out of our kids in areas that our curriculum doesn't even go. Well, I'll give you an example. We had a guy of 86 called Billy that I brought in, seven-year-olds. Now, this one's history. He had fought at D-Day. So he comes along in his D-Mob suit, which he's still got because he's never put any weight on, and he talked to the kids for an hour and 40 minutes. They were seven and they asked questions for 50 minutes of that hour and 40 minutes and it's the best history lesson I ever did. I had nothing to do with it other than phoning this guy and because he was local he had the same accent as the kids but a totally different experience. The kids never ever forgot it. It was the best narrative lesson, the best history lesson. Now we can do that in communications, in computers, Quite a lot of people now who are at the foundation of computers are now late middle age. Um, we can do it with engineering, we can do it with carpentry, we can do it with plumbing, and we can do it with ex-soldiers talking about what really happens out there. Um, there are so many things, healthcare, you know, where they could actually communicate, communicate to the kids, these brilliant schools. And it's not just the kids get so much out of it, the adults get so much out of it. They walk out of school when we've done those things, actually walking on air because they feel useful again. You know, they're not just the babysitter picking up their own grandchildren. They've got a group of 30 children hanging on their every word. So, you know, obviously there's the little issues. You've got to make sure the CRB checked. But actually, the overwhelming people are absolutely brilliant. There's only a handful we need to worry about. You soon sieve them out. This fantastic many million strong resource could be part of a transmission belt of skills that the kids don't usually get.